everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today we're going to be discussing a medication known as hydroxychloroquine. Its brand name is Plaquenil. And before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. So hydroxychloroquine is thought to act as a mild immunosuppressant. It inhibits the production of rheumatoid factor and acute phase reactants. It also accumulates in white blood cells, stabilizing liposomal membranes and inhibiting the activity of many different enzymes. In terms of indications for use, this medication is indicated to be used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. We also see it used in malaria. Aside from treating malaria, it can also be used prophylactically to prevent malaria. And finally, we also see it used to treat lupus erythematosus. Now, before somebody was to use hydroxychloroquine, there is a contraindication that they must clear, which in this case would be a hypersensitivity to four aminoquinoline compounds. And there's also some precautions and warnings that they should be made aware of. So in terms of precautions, it should be noted that cardiomyopathies with fatalities have been reported. And as well, QT prolongation and ventricular arrhythmias have also been reported. Because of this, we would want to avoid using this medication with other drugs that can cause QT prolongation. If patients use this medication who have psoriasis, it may cause a severe exacerbation of their psoriasis, so use is typically not recommended. Some dermatologic reactions may occur with the use of hydroxychloroquine. This would typically be more of a risk if patients are using other drugs that may cause dermatitis. Severe and potentially life-threatening hypoglycemia or low blood sugar may occur. This may happen with the loss of consciousness, and it can happen in patients who are using or in patients who are not using anti-diabetic medications. Severe blood disorders such as aplastic anemia, leukopenia, thrombocytopenia, and a granulocytosis may occur, so with prolonged use of this medication, monitoring would be recommended. Medication should be given cautiously to patients who have liver disease or alcoholism. Suicidal behavior would be rare with this medication, however, it has been reported. And finally, irreversible retinal damage has also been reported. This would be more likely in patients who are receiving doses greater than 5.6 milligrams per kilogram and are, who are using the medication for greater than five years. Now, once somebody has cleared that contraindication and is made aware of the precautions and warnings and they start to use hydroxychloroquine, they can expect to receive their dose orally. For patients using this medication who are treating rheumatoid arthritis, they may start off with 400 to 600 milligrams given once daily or it may be divided up in a twice daily regimen. When a good response is obtained, the dose can be cut by 50% down to 200 to 400 milligrams given once daily or again possibly divided in twice daily dosing. The maximum dose would be 600 milligrams per day or 6.5 milligrams per kilogram, whichever is lower. If somebody is using hydroxychloroquine to treat lupus erythematosus, they would typically use 200 or 400 milligrams given once daily or again with the possibility of dividing it into a twice daily regimen. And the maximum dose in this situation would be 400 milligrams daily. Now, in terms of side effects, there's not too many common side effects to list with this medication. However, some more rare but serious side effects would be severe hypoglycemia or low blood sugar, blood disorders such as aplastic anemia, thrombocytopenia, or a granulocytosis. Some patients may experience a disorder of the muscle. A retinal disorder may happen in 7.5% of patients. And some patients may experience hearing loss or angioedema. That's all we're going to talk about today with hydroxychloroquine or Plaquenil. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today, take care.